Just because our boat is for sale, it doesn't mean we have fallen out of love with her. This week we continue to enjoy her beauty and speed, comfortably roaring down the coast to explore the pristine waters and surrounds of Geograph Bay. Behind us is the Bustleton Jetty and it spans 1.8 kilometres from the shore. It's actually the largest um, wooden pile jetty in the Southern Hemisphere. Welcome to Free Range Sailing. For those of you that are new here, I'm Pascal and this is Troy. For the last four years and 180 episodes, we've circumnavigated Australia, culminating with a very demanding year refitting our 1969 Australian-built Klansman 30 sloop rigged yacht and sailing her across the Great Australian Bight. Now we've returned to our home state, we're taking the time to explore some of the places we didn't get the chance to see as much of before. Join us each week for more great sailing, fishing and adventure as we cruise the West Australian coast. After months of cruising along the windy and dusty West Australian coastline, it was a welcome relief to have arrived at a marina where Troy could climb the mast with a freshwater hose and give our Dyneema rigging a long overdue rinse. Well, we're still very much aboard Marul, um, and so we stopped in at Fremantle. The the boat's still for sale, but we, we had no intention of stopping sell, uh, sailing it, while yeah. that's the case. So we're going to join our friends um, down in Geograph Bay, and it's beautiful. We can't wait to go there. So we've had a little time at Rottnest. We had some time with family. Obviously, we don't film, film that, that, so yeah. there's a little bit of a gap in the narrative. I look different now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I had to, I had to spruce a myself up. Christmas. Oh, come on. Not really. <laughs> I, I had to spruce myself up just so my poor aged mother would recognise me. <laughs> we had crazy winds to start with, and so we're cruising through the night at the moment. How are we managing it, Pasky? At the moment, we've got a typical Perth summer weather pattern, or southwest WA weather pattern, where there's easterlies from about midnight until about 10 a.m calms and really hot weather until about one and then a big strong sea breeze comes in about mm. 20 knots which is from the south so we basically can't sail uh, as soon as that breeze kicks in we can't sail until midnight again so yeah that's our sail plan at the moment sailing in the morning yeah so we it's about four in the morning although that was yesterday um, we left at four in the morning and we got in here at 10 um, We've got a 40 mile leg to get down to Bunbury. Yep. So what we're going to do this time is leave at midnight. That's as soon as the easterly kicks in, we're going to go for it because yep. I think that it's going to go east, southeast and then southeast by about eight in the morning. Right. So we'll give ourselves eight hours to get that 40 mile. I think yep. that's totally doable. Okay. So we're going to be close hauled, but at least we're going to be close hauled. We're sailing inside a reef, so it will be fairly protected and it's offshore. So. Hmm. It'll be nice and shallow, yep. but it'll be inside a reef. Yep. Yep. All right. Let's do this. Yep. Well, there you go, another another nice sunrise. Um, we've just been you know, leaving early, sailing in the dark. This sail's going pretty well, so we're getting probably about eight to 12 knots. Um, you know, it's quite variable at the moment. If we have a look at the trim, I've trimmed the mainsail just a little bit further in than I normally would at the moment. Um, what I'm trying to do is just lean her all over a little bit, just try and get a bit of heel so we increase our waterline length and that just makes the boat go through the water just a bit more efficiently. You know, if we have a look at the GPS here, we're getting high fives and into the early sixes, which isn't bad for these sort of conditions. So we've got a um, quite a big mainsail on rule for you know what she is and the head sail out. It's only 34 square meters. You know, if we popped our spinnaker up, we'd get 41 um, just out of that. But at the moment, we're doing fine. Six knots is pretty good. So just for an easy sail set, 
um, you know, we're making pretty good time. We, we're generally happy with six knots and with our waterline length, you know, with our little yacht, we're not going to get much more than that in these conditions anyway. So we'll just keep running this and we'll, we'll see how we go. We're doing pretty good. Here's the scene in the boat as we're doing six and a half knots. It's pretty civilised, isn't it, Pascal? Yeah, I finally dragged myself out of bed. <laughs> Shooting with the wide angle lens so the boat looks enormous. It really does. <laughs> At least it's easy to make tea in this tack. It's a great tack. So this is uh, this is just showing the inside of the boat at the moment while we're doing six and a half knots. We're in the lee of the shore so it's pretty, wow. pretty straightforward isn't it? Pasky showing the, um, the floor of a clansman has got those little tilted up bits. It's actually quite nice when we're under sail. Yeah. So lots of seagrass in the bay has meant that we haven't really been able to fish on our way down here, which has been a real shame. Shame. Uh, sad. <laughs> and um, even to the extent that yesterday, we had to motor a lot yesterday because the forecast easterlies didn't really come, so we spent most of the evening motoring, but we were motoring through big clumps of seagrass and was actually getting stuck in the prop, um, and so we'd have to stop put it into reverse to free the seagrass and continue on, um, put the propeller into reverse. So um, yeah, we even had the engine overheating uh, because we suspect that some seagrass got sucked up into the cooling. That's definitely what happened. So we shut the engine off and that got rid of the problem. So what was sucked up against the strainer fell off. Yeah, right. So yeah, something that we didn't actually think of but yeah there was quite a big storm about a week and a half ago so there's obviously still a little bit of grass floating around in the bay it apparently gets quite full of seagrass down here in winter time you want to yell down to us what speed we're doing six and a half knots Ooh. Anchored beside our friends, we spotted this octopus below the surface. Octopus are quite a curiosity, and swimming with one on the move like this was a rare treat. As you can see here, they really are the masters of camouflage. It feels fast. Huh? It feels fast. Oh yeah, 6.8. You having a good time? Yeah. <laughs> we got through the hectic stages, it was alright. Yeah. I only had to dump the main cell once. <laughs>
Behind us is the Bustleton Jetty and it spans 1.8 kilometres from the shore. It's actually the largest um, wooden pile jetty in the Southern Hemisphere and it used to service the port of Bustleton up until the mid 70s I believe. It got damaged in a cyclone in the 70s and since then it was the port was shut but all of the Bustleton locals and people in the area teamed together to restore the jetty. Now it's just used as a tourist attraction and over the last 35 years it's um, been significantly upgraded. There was a lot of damage that occurred to it. This, this train here was put in so it's, um, it's a tourist attraction. There's uh, an observational tower behind me where you can go and see the fish down below but we're actually going to jump in the water and swim with the fish so um, yeah we're pretty excited about that. Alright, we especially need one of those. Yes, we definitely need one of these um, just in case there's any stray bits of man-made material, fishing line particularly, around those pylons. So we don't want to get tangled up in that, so we'll take our knives with us just to be safe. Safety first. Safety first. It was really incredible to find these tropical and subtropical species of coral growing at a latitude of 33 degrees south. This phenomenon is thanks to the Lewin current bringing warm water down from the tropics. Thanks for joining us as we headed down to Geograph Bay this week. If you enjoyed the video, we'd really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up as it helps get our video out to a wider audience. We look forward to seeing you next week.